<laughs> yes. I uh, texted a family member the other night that was in Missouri. I said, yep, we're on our own little island, but it's no fun. It's been a challenging week for Buffalo, Iowa resident Janine Buckley, living in the Mississippi River. First it was a little scary. Now I'm just ready for it to be over. Buckley is grateful the inside of her house is dry. Her landlord, a family member, and others helped pile up these sandbags to keep the water at bay. The biggest challenge is just getting out to, to the car and getting groceries. Snow melt from record-setting snowfall in parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Michigan sent a deluge of water downstream, flooding parts of riverside cities and towns. The river crested earlier this week near Buffalo, but AccuWeather flooding expert Alex Zasnowski says don't expect to see dry land overnight. We have many days to go here yet before the river gets down below major flood stage. Uh, say, for example, at Davenport. We'll wait for the water to clear and then it's just pick up the debris, clean up a little bit, and we're back to normal. There are a series of road closures in Davenport while the city contends with the mighty Mississippi overflowing its banks. The city is no stranger to floods. And back in 2019, water overtopped the flood barriers. So leaders added extra precautions this time around to protect businesses and residents. These are HESCO barriers, the same type of technology used by the military overseas, basically large sandbags. And they're twice as thick and twice as tall as in 2019 to keep the city safe from the Mississippi River. We are pretty good at managing this. Doesn't mean that it can't, you know, go sideways, but I, you know, we're proud of the work that we do here. And, you know, our businesses are still open and we're, you know, <laughs> at this point, we got people coming down to see it. Carter says the city is hoping to implement the start of a multi-year $165 million flood resilience plan, which would include raising the elevation of some roads and improving underground storm sewer systems. In Davenport, Iowa, for AccuWeather, I'm Jillian Angeline.